So because welcome to our Zoom, the last one of 2020, hopefully. <laughs> um, I have to do a roll call. So yes. I'm here, Laura. I'm here. Barbara. Here. Tom. Here. Melissa. Here. And Mary. Yes. Okay, so we have to approve the minutes of the November 18th meeting. Do I have a motion to approve them? So moved. Motion to approve. Oh, sorry about that. In a second? <laughs> second. <laughs> no further discussion? So I have um, a motion to approve, but we have to do it through roll call. Mm. So um, Laura? I approve. Barbara? Yes. Tom? Yes. And I approve. Thank you, the motion passes. And we'll go on to Mary with her director's report. All right, let me put my spectacles on so I can read to you all. <laughs> um, so as we know, we're still not open. Um, I don't know when that will happen. Obviously the numbers keep going up and so forth. So at this point, uh, still not open. We are moving along with what we can. We have the annual giving tree and it is going very well. Um, Melissa, do we have any tags left? Or are they all um, gone, just a few? I think we have maybe five. Maybe five tags left. So it's gone very well. We put it out, it's adorable. Uh, Melissa has set it up outside her slider. Uh, people come up, we can see if they come up or not. We have some cute little elves out there. It's gone, like I said, really well. People have been very great about coming and getting the tags, so. Um, that's going well. Um, at this point, I'd say we probably maybe only have about half back. So I'm expecting that we're going to be getting a lot more in the next few days here coming in. Um, and I wanted to give a shout out to Peter O'Brien and his wife, Kathy. They decorated the front porch. I don't know if anybody's gone by and seen it. Looks but great. It's adorable. Yeah, it's, it's really great. cute. They did a fabulous job. Um, Christmas lunching. Luncheon. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, we have that going on. So far, we have 40 people signed up. So that's great. Um, again, if we have any stragglers, we could still take some people. Um, we've got it planned that they're going to come by on the 21st. They're going to drive up out front and we will come out and be festive and deliver the meals out to them. We do, uh, we did offer the bus. So we have some people that are coming on the bus. We're going to do it in, you know, pe four people at a time. So I think we have about six for the bus. So six far? right now. I think six. So it'll be a couple runs, but I just figured that way for the people that wanted to do it, they didn't have vehicles, we could incorporate them too. Um, we're going to have American Chop Suey with a roll Caesar salad that's coming from Cast Iron Cafe and a Christmas cupcake for the dessert. Um, so I'm hoping that everybody loves it and it'll be fun for everybody to get out and see some faces and get to see us out front. Um, what else do we have going on? And, and, and that actually based on that, I think, you know, we've got 40 people that signed up. So based on that, I think we're going to try to do it again for Valentine's Day and do another grab right. and go like that so that they can come and get their lunch and again, see us. Um, and we're also going to do a Valentine's Day grab and go double heart wreath craft with our chairman, Denise Bagley. <laughs> She's graciously uh said she would do it with us. We're going to do that remotely on Zoom. So um, we will, well, we did put it out in the newsletter coming up. So um, the January newsletter, we'll have it in there. Hopefully we'll get a good response. Um, I'll also do a voice connect on it. We'll put it out on Facebook. So hopefully we get people to sign up and we'll do that one with us as too. And then based on that, hopefully we'll get some more. I, um, I'm hoping as we do things, things will, you know, people will kind of like it and join on. Um, we had, I'm going to actually jump here. Um, we had our first calls this week. So we're doing the conference line I had talked about. There's one with Linda Rome that does a travel talk. And then Marie, Marie Layler from Historical Commission is doing one on Whitman history. So, Mar excuse me, Linda's with last week and she had, she had less people. It was our very first maiden run. So she had a few less people, but she said it went well. Um, the people that did join seemed to enjoy it. Marie just had hers yesterday and she had about five or six people that joined, which was more than Linda's. Yes. And um, it, again, she said it went very well, that people seemed to enjoy um, reminiscing. They kind of went down memory lane about, you know, Whitman history and some of their own, one lady was, I guess, talking about, she remembered um, going to dances and Marie was trying to figure out where it was in Whitman. Um, she's gonna work on that because she wasn't sure of the location, but 
So anyhow, that it went really well. So I'm glad about that. And I'm hoping that um, if we keep putting it out there, we're going to have it in the newsletter. We'll put it on Facebook. I'm going to make another Voice Connect call um, and just keep trying to encourage people to join. I think that maybe that will pick up through the winter months here. Um, they can even use it. Um, Melissa and I actually are going to do one too. Um, starting in January, we're going to do uh, Monday mornings with Mary and Melissa for an hour. So I'm hoping that people will just join in, you know, just to chat about life and whatever, just to get them to call in. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll see how that one goes. Hopefully that might encourage some more chatting. Um, and the seniors could use it too. I don't know if I'm trying to encourage this too. If they want to do it, they could call us because we have this line all the time. They could call us like, just say a group. Like I know that uh, the knitting group used to get together here. If they just wanted to chat, like say four or five of them, they could use the line and just use it kind of as their own personal chat line to get together without physically getting together. Mm -hmm. So gonna try to encourage that too. Um, we're still working on our chair yoga, but that hopefully will start airing, if not this month, then next month on cable. Uh, Karen Lyons from the Whitman Wellness Center has been working with Eric and, um, oh gosh, Paul Watson down at uh, Whitman Hanson Cable, excuse me, Community Access. And um, they have recorded her in the Whitman Wellness Center and it's going to air on cable. You know, I'm not sure of the times and stuff yet. They've got music to it. They've got an intro and stuff they've all worked on. And I really appreciate all the work everyone's doing. And that's going to start airing, hopefully, like I said, if not this month, definitely, hopefully in January, it'll be airing for the seniors that are home. Um, and then we're going to also work with Karen. She's going to do one on a Zoom that maybe for the younger, um, and I don't want to say, let me not misspeak here, but for some more um, Zoom savvy people that they would be able to get on, it would be more interactive. The one on, that will air on cable will just be a recorded one for the people at home, whereas the Zoom one, Karen will be leading it and people can interact. So um, we'll see once we get the cable one going, then we'll get the Zoom one going hopefully right after that with Karen. And she seems very lovely and is very willing to do whatever we need to get that going. So um, the hairdresser and the podiatrist are still going well. Dr. Chan is here right now doing some feet out back. So um, we've had no issues. Everybody comes in safely through the back door. They wear the mask, we sanitize in between. Um, and again, everyone seems very appreciative to be able to get their toes and their hair done. <laughs> um, same with the bus trips, everything's running smooth on that. What we are able to do, again, we're limited to the four people, but our round town continues to go. Um, CVS and Walgreens continues. Food shopping is still going on. We do Shaw's and Stop and Shop on um, our Tuesdays. And then we've added Thursdays, we've added back in Market Basket. Um, so that's just started, but it's going well. And I figured if it gets where we have a lot of people that really want to do it, we could add in a Thursday afternoon if necessary. Um, Walmart actually is really popular. It seems like we kind of have a waiting list on that one because we can only do the four people at a time. So that one seems to fill up quickly. So, but there's not much we can do about that because we can't get the two trips in because of the timing of going to Raynham and going to Plymouth. By the time he picks everybody up, does the trip and comes back, there wouldn't be enough time to do a second run. So we, we, we ask people, we're trying to keep it so that it's all different people. Like, you know, four people go one week, four people the next week and so on. Um, we've had no building or property maintenance issues. That's good. Uh, we've had no bus issues except um, this week, the, <laughs> the wiper blade did come off one of the, uh, on the driver's side due to the icy day, but we were able to get it back on ourselves. So that was solved and no problems there. Um, and I think that's everything I have of what's going on right now. Lisa, did I forget anything that you can think of? Nope, I think that's everything. I think that's good, what we're working on. We're working on our annual um, giving tree. Melissa and I, you know, the gifts are coming in. We're getting ready. We do have um, people that have signed up to be delivery elves. I have about like 12 different people that have signed up. Um, which is fabulous. People are calling and some people, uh, our townspeople that have generously offered to uh, be some of the elves this year. So, and Melissa and I also will deliver some of the gifts. So we've got, you know, some gifts that have come in. We obviously have gift cards coming in and we're getting things ready and we will be delivering this year and hopefully bringing some cheer. <laughs> Great. But that's all I have, I think, guys. Anybody have any questions for me? Not I. No. Barbara, I caught my mistake before you could catch it this week. 2020? 
<laughs> I don't know why when I, when I copy it over, um, the dates keep changing like that. But I was looking at it last night before I left and I was like, oh no, I'm like, I'm going to change that before Barbara catches me. <laughs> the it should have been changed. a proofreader. <laughs> <laughs> well, I caught it this week. I was like, even though I sent you the wrong one, I did catch it before it went completely through this. So anyhow, um, yeah, that's everything I have right now. Thank you, Mary. Do I have a motion to approve the director's report? I approve it. Do I have a second? Second. second. Are so moved. <laughs> um, we have to do it by roll call again, because we're on Zoom. <laughs> so, Laura? Yes. Barbara? Yes. Tom? Yes. And I vote yes. So the motion passes. I think, do we lose someone? Oh, no. So nope. now on to the financial report. Barbara, you're muted. Oh, she's back. back. Okay. Everyone just switched spots on me. <laughs> I think it was Barbara. Barbara did something down there. Well, we're on my iPhone, so I can only see a few people at a time. Oh. So I was trying to see everybody. Sorry. <laughs> you just got moved down to the bottom when you did that, but that's okay. Well, it goes with <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Denise. <laughs> no problem. Um, do you want to do the financial report? Please. All you. <laughs> oh, do you want me? Do you want me to read through it, or you guys have it, or I'm sorry. I read through it, and I'm good to make a motion. Okay. All right. So Barbara motions it. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Again, we have to do it by roll call. So Laura. Yes. Tom? Yes. And Barbara? Yes. And I approve also, so the motion passes. Uh, next, I think we have Mary. Do we have any committee reports? I do. So Old Colony Elder Services is actually providing grab and go lunches. So we actually just started them this past, um, is this, our this is our second week. They started last week. Uh, we didn't have time to get it into the timing of it. We didn't get it into the newsletter. So um, Fran, uh, who does our Meals on Wheels, had called out to our regular congregate uh, attendees and they've been coming in to get them. It seems like everybody's very happy. Um, they make their normal donation of 250. And like I said, it's a box lunch. It's mainly like sandwiches and things like that with a juice and chips and stuff. But anyhow, they come up, we actually started using our sliders down on the other end of the building. <laughs> so um, the, there's a desk down there with that so they can come up to the slider. We got, we got all our walk-ups going here on the front of the building. <laughs> so uh, they walk up, you know, obviously everybody again, masked and safe and they get their box lunch there and everybody so far seems happy. I even went, I, I'll tell the story and then I know this is on our meeting, but um, somebody watching might get a giggle. Um, we were doing it last week <laughs> and um, I was outside for something and uh, there was a gentleman sitting in his car eating so I was like, oh, it was egg salad day. I was like, oh, great. I'm like, you got the egg salad. I'm like, is it good? And he's looking at me. So I kind of walked closer and he opens his door a little. I'm like, oh, did you get the egg salad? He's like, um, this is my tuna sandwich. I'm just sitting here eating it. <laughs> so he wasn't even part of our group. I just interrupted his lunch. The poor guy. <laughs> he was gracious though. And I said, oh, great. I'm glad you're enjoying your lunch. <laughs> it wasn't ours. <laughs> so that's Mary, right? I do that with everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyhow, um, but any, it's going well. So we do have, um, like I said, the congregate people, we did put it out for January. So hopefully we'll get more people that will be interested um, and we'll come and get lunches. And so that's fabulous. And I don't have anything on friends because we don't have that group right now. Um, Self-help is still going well. We have John Noska doing the fuel assistance. So um, still going well with that. He is meeting, um, you know, with the Board of Health approval here. He does meet people. They sit socially distanced at a table away. There's a lot of sanitizing, wiping, all that good stuff. So, um, so far so good, but um, that's going well as well. And I don't really have any other business. I don't think that's it. That's all I get on my list, guys. Uh, except that the date of our next meeting would be Wednesday, January 13th at 9 a.m. Okay, does anyone have anything else? Not a question. No. Concerns. All right, so no do money. I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. And a second? 
A second. second. And we have to do by roll call again. So Laura. <laughs> yes. Tom. Yes. Barbara. Yes. And I say yes. So the meeting is officially adjourned. I hope all of you have a nice Christmas and holiday and everything else. <laughs> Excellent. You as and well. Wish you all the same. Yes, a safe one, a happy one, and see you next year.